Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of B2B product variants matrix from the Magento 2 platform and in today's video tutorial we'll be showing you the backend configuration that is required for the configurable product so that at the web store front end the customers can easily select the product variations and can see the quantity of the products as well and the customers would now be able to add to the cart all the variations at the same time and can make a checkout thereafter so uh, let's get ahead and let's see how this uh, uh, plugin works and thus replaces the default configurable options with a clean matrix or a grid table thus allowing the customers to add more than one variation of the configurable product to the cart at once and allows them to order uh, quickly so let's get ahead and let's see uh, the configuration part of this uh, particular plugin that needs to be done before uh, making use at the web store front end so right now I'm at the uh, backend configuration panel of the Magento 2 web store. So what I'll be doing is I'll be signing in in the first place. And thereafter we need to navigate through stores up till the configuration panel. Wherein under the configuration block we'll have the uh, settings for uh, this particular uh, product ma matrix variant plugin. So I've logged in. Now uh, to configure uh, the module in the first place, uh, the uh, store admin needs to navigate through stores then uh, configuration and here on the configuration page under the web cool block uh, we need to navigate to the configurable product matrix sub option here so as this is just a demonstration we have uh, already installed many other plugins as well so after you have purchased this particular plugin and installed it correctly you'll find the configurable product matrix sub menu option under the web cool block and here under the general settings we have around five different uh, settings that need to be set up uh, before making use of this particular plugin uh, for the admin so we'll go through each of them one by one so uh, the very first option that we have is to enable the product matrix module so here you can uh, choose from a yes or a no and uh, if the admin select this option as a yes then a product matrix gets displayed for the configurable product on their respective product pages so selecting a yes uh, creates a, a matrix display for the configurable products on the uh, product pages itself and selecting a no would uh, display the configurable products as they are in the default system then we have the option that is enable matrix for configurable products now here also the admin can choose from a yes or a no and uh, if the admin choose a it as a yes then it becomes the global configuration for the products whose product attribute is set to use config so here if you have selected this option as a yes then uh, it becomes uh, the global configuration for the product whose uh, product attribute set is already set to the use configuration uh, in the backend configuration system after that we have the option that is enable stock notification tooltip and uh, you can select a uh, yes or a no for this option if you have selected a yes for this option then a tooltip is visible on the product matrices and uh, the quantity box on the product pages if the admin has set this field as a yes so uh, let me take you to the front end once so this is uh, a configurable pr uh, product at the web store front end and here you can see that we have a funnel sweatshirt and we have an option to reset all the uh, details here and we have three different variations for this uh, per, that is the orange one the purple one and the white one and if you hold the mouse over each of them then you can see whether it's in stock and the quantity of each of the variations uh, you can see here and this is the tooltip basically that the admin can enable uh, under this option that is enable stock notification tooltip so uh, if you have selected it as a yes then it would display the tooltip otherwise not then we have the option enable product matrix on existing configurable catalog you can select a yes or a no for this option and if you have selected a, a yes uh, for this particular option then uh, the configurable uh, products that are already existing within your store then uh, what happens is that if you have selected this option as a yes then the product matrix would be available or visible for each of the existing configurable products of your Magento 2 web store so you can set them up for your already created configurable products as well and for the new as well and lastly we have the option that is show matrix totals so uh, you can choose this option as a yes or a no 
and uh, what this does is that if you selected this option as a yes then the price and the quantity is visible under a products matrix in the product page so let me show you that for example if I select this option as a one I want a one quantity of the orange in the XS size now I if I click you can see here we can see the price of this particular uh, variation that is forty eight dollars otherwise uh, uh, similarly you can uh, go for for example if you go for six for the purple and for the small s the price would be uh, increased and the quantity total will also be visible to the customers at the web store front end or the configurable page itself so uh, that was about the show matrix total so if you have selected this option as yes then the total selected quantity and price would uh, get visible to the uh, customers at the product page itself and lastly you can tap the save configuration button so as to save the configuration settings of uh, this particular plugin so uh, now we'll uh, proceed further and let's see how the admin would be able to uh, uh, apply the uh, product matrix for the existing products uh, or the configurable products that are already existing so for that i'll navigate you to uh, catalog and uh, then products so if we have chosen the enable uh, uh, option here in the configuration panel then we'll have uh, uh, a field uh, that is uh, named as enable product matrix and uh, that would uh, appear for all of the existing products that are there by default so uh, what i'll do is i'll just search for an already created uh, configurable product so that uh, i can show you what exactly uh, the field name is that uh, comes up after we've installed this particular plugin uh, so the field name is enable product matrix and that would appear by default for all of the existing products and products that uh, the admin is going to create as configurable so uh, I'll search for the uh, product that's Casio full funnel sweatshirt so I'll just search this particular product so here we have this particular product and we have all the variations for this as well and here you can see uh, some of the products have been purchased so the uh, as you can see here we have the white one and its stock is 99 right now some are 100 that have not been purchased yet so uh, let me show you uh, how that particular uh, field appears uh, to the admin in the first place and how you can apply the uh, product matrix visibility for the existing products so right now I'm at the uh, main uh, product for the configurable product so here what we have uh, here I'll show you the actual uh, uh, option that needs to be enabled so here you can see that we have this enable product matrix so right now we have uh, cho chosen this as use config and you have two other options as well set as yes and no and we have uh, chosen this option as a use configuration uh, right right now so if I have chosen the uh, use configuration option for the enable product matrix uh, for the already existing product then uh, what happens is that it checks the configuration for the enable matrix for the configurable products field under the admin module configuration that's the configurable product matrix and uh, if uh, we have enabled the uh, matrix for the configurable product field under the admin configuration and you've said that as a yes then for the configurable product matrix uh, will be displayed so uh, basically it displays the uh, the uh, the grid or the matrix for the uh, already created products so this is the option uh, that comes up after we have installed the uh, uh, the plugin itself and the admin just needs to enable it for the uh, existing products and uh, and if the admin has chosen this as a no uh, then the uh, product matrix would not be displayed for the configurable product at the web store front end so uh, use config is basically the actual configuration settings that the admin has set up uh, that we just showed you in the plugin configuration section so uh, choosing a no for this would not uh, display the product matrix at the product page for the configurable product itself so uh, that was much about the uh, configuration of for the B2B product variant matrix for the Magento 2 platform and I just showed you the backend configuration panel of this plugin what different options are there and uh, I've told you how uh, they can be used and how they work 
and lastly I showed you basically how the admin can enable the product matrix for the already created products that are the configurable products and uh, when enabled the uh, a product matrix automatically appears for those products on the configurable page uh, at the web store front end similarly the admin can also add new products and choose the enable uh, product matrix option under the uh, edit product page uh, so as to enable the product matrix for a configurable product so basically it isn't uh, out the uh, option to the customers so wherein the, now the customers can easily add multiple variations at the same time and they can check whether the product is in stock on the, the quantity uh, that is available for each of the variations for a product so for example we have a product sweatshirt and we have green red and yellow colors with different sizes so uh, uh, by holding a mouse uh, the customer can easily uh, add those products into the cart and can check out with multiple uh, variant options at the same time and this was not uh, uh, available uh, in the default Magento system itself so definitely this feature helps out the customers for adding quickly the uh, uh, the configurable products from the uh, product page itself using the product uh, matrix and uh, in the coming video i'll be showing you the front end working of this particular uh, plugin and i hope this particular video helped you out and if you have any questions or queries regarding this extension then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webpool.com or you may raise a ticket at webpool.uds.com thanks for watching this video and have a day have a good day ahead